Hello and welcome to the first commentation I will be doing of a Hungercraft game. Getting a bit of lag, but should be a good game. We have a nice amount of people. Not a full game, but that's still good because I can actually get in the game to spectate. But we do have some good people here. We got uh, two CMCs, apparently. Uh, we have Ethix, Watermelon King, Chocolate Juice, Skipper Guy, Cruxization, uh, Candy King, Rex, uh, Cruddy Naji, XDA, a bunch of people. Sorry if I didn't mention you. But uh, we've got a bunch of people here, and I'm going to go ahead and rejoin the game once it starts, and it should be a good game. So let me just disconnect here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and join this game once it starts, and it should be good. wonder what map it'll be. Just got to wait a bit. So yeah, this is Hung Hungercraft. You can find them at hungercraft.net probably put that in the, sh in the description. And the map is Dunes. We have 27 people, which is a nice amount. And we get in the game just in time. Let's look for that first sword. <laughs> what was that? Anyway, let's look for that first sword. People are running up. Some people are AFK. A few people running. Not many, though. Most people running straight to the corn. Let's look for that first sword. See who's going to be dominating. So someone, uh, CEMC -E actually gets a wood axe, but so does Cool K, and he has chain pants, and that's really good. Chocolate Juice actually with a wood shovel trying to smack CMC to death. Very interesting. <laughs> but uh, Nick Master running away. A lot of people running away. Let's just, uh, Rex taking out CEMC. Uh, Crux, Diego, and XDA are still at the corn, just chilling here. I th they may all be team, but they seem to all uh, be diffusing out of there. Uh, Rex taking out Grand Bacon Ninja. Let's go check on Rex. Uh, Aaron's, actually, there's a team of three here. That's uh, Rex, Aaron, and Better. Better with uh, leather pants. He's got a nice amount of armor, and I think they have some weapons. Not many. Many. But they have some. Ethix is saying make two swords. So he's probably on a team also. Yeah, there is a team here. Skipper Guy 12 and Ethix. And I think there's also another skipper in here. Uh, I think they're brothers. But uh, they're actually making swords here. Only wood swords. But at least they have a form of defense. Water taking out Raph. And that was right over here. Uh, he's actually in this uh, weird area. He's grabbing some string, which would be good for... Uh, I can't open chests right now. But that would be good for bows or fishing rods right now. And... Skipper Guy 12 is actually right next to him, and he seems to be running to attack him. I'm not sure, but Chocolate's actually coming up behind him. Benho's also. Chocolate doesn't have a weapon, and he tried to punch them, and he's running once they pulled out their swords. He actually gets another hit, and he dies there to fall damage. Dropping actually a TNT, a bow, and an enderpearl. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice stuff for them. But Benho's actually running away after he sees that fight. He doesn't want to be part of that. In the background, actually, that's a watermelon. He already just jumped out of this base after he saw that, and now he's just sprinting away. Uh, Watermelon is kind of isolated right now, no tame, but he's still okay, he does have an axe, so he's going to be able to get plenty of wood, plenty of tools, he should be good, but we still have a lot of people left in this game, so, this game, I'm not sure, I can't count on anyone to be winning right now, but we, we do see some teams, I think Lehman's actually chasing Cruddy, they're actually running into this other team, Stormy Knife and Cool K, Cool K trying to block with Lehman, and they're just attacking Cruddy now, they all have wood swords, Cool K with chain panchers and some good armor, Benho's taken out there by Skipper Guy, he tried to run, but apparently they chased him down and took him out, there is some animals over here for food for them, but they're still chasing down Cruddy, Cruddy was hoping that they would uh, attack Lehman, but no, and I think Clay's also on their team, but he's crafting something, uh, Cruddy is running away. In the background, we actually see a chase here. That's XDA being chased by Skipper Guy and Ethix, I think. And he just hit the ground too hard there, just like Chocolate did earlier. And his team is still here. I think they're still chasing Cruddy, though. Yeah, they are still chasing Cruddy. Cruddy trying to turn around and get some hits, but it doesn't work out. He gets a hit on... Uh, he gets hurt himself. Party Rocker taking out Bengals, 18-14. Uh, better saying, ah. Uh, oh, actually, there's a poison pot thrown out, slowing him down and damaging him, and that really hurts. Lehman taking him out. He had to resort to that poison pot, although it wasn't really necessary. Uh, Hoy guy taking out Crux. Uh, Clay's still here. I think Clay is part of the team, but let's go check on Hoy. Hoy is with Nick Master. There are a lot of teams this game. They're actually fighting Diego, but Diego has a low, is not a big advantage at all. He takes a lot of hits from them, and he can't do anything. He ran at them with the wood sword, which is not the smartest thing to do. But uh, he's taken out there. Both of these players do have some food and stone swords each, which is pretty good uh, general material. They are looking good in this game, and the game may start to slow down now. Uh, most of the bloodbath kills have gone by, but these two are right next to this jungle, and these jungles usually provide a lot of food, but it is turning night, and night in Hungercraft is something that you don't want to get caught in. There are a lot of mobs out there, spider jockeys even, everywhere. There are a lot of mobs, and you will see that soon, actually. 
So actually, let's go check on someone else here. Let's go check on Water, who we did see running. And actually, Cool K taking out Skipper. Cool K getting a lot of kills today. Uh, if you've seen him in any games. But Lehman's actually attacking Ethix. I think uh, Ethix was attacking Stormy, but he gets called out by the other two teammates. He's going to probably be taken out here. He's stuck in water. Lehman actually is trying to hit him with a fishing rod or something. I think he's just trying to fish. And they actually let him go. So Ethix is on the run. But in the background, we have Clay versus James Gardner. James Gardner taking him out. He does have leather boots, which is an, uh, just a little bit of armor, but that's good. Stormy, Cool K, and Lehman see them. But I think uh, one of them tried to block. Maybe they're trying to form this big team. But Cool K still has that nice amount of armor. He seems to be dominating right now. But they only have wood swords, no stone swords. That's not good. James actually, oh, I thought he was digging down. But no, he's still running. Cool K is chasing. I don't think they're team. No, they're not. They're fighting. Cool K gets the first hit, and James is running. I think James is already low before, but a spider actually gets a hit on Cool K. That might actually help him uh, boost him forward, but it is a bit of damage. Hoi guy taking out Party Rocker. I think that's his uh, second kill we've seen, but he, Party Rocker taken out. I think he also got some kills earlier. Uh, Rex says Skipper is dead. There's a lot of conversation going on in the chat about teams and such, so this is going to be a very team-orientated game. And Cool K actually gets another hit. James Gardner is not looking good right now, and he's going to be aggroing all the mobs since he is in front. But actually, some are actually aggroing on to uh, Cool K because there's so many of them. Uh, James actually running away here. Still running. He's actually looking back, which is not good. That really slows you down. Cool K is still, with that determination, trying to catch up to him. Trying to use the fishing rod. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Maybe trying to knock him into a wall or something. But James Gardner is still running, aggroing all the mobs. He's actually running near the corn. And they might actually attract uh, Nick. I think this is Nick Master. Yes, Nick Master. And I think he has a teammate. I'm not sure if his teammate died or not. Seems like he's alone. But no, Cool K actually takes out James Gardner here. I missed that. But he's actually being attacked by spiders. I think Cool K is maybe a little hurt. And he's actually digging down here. He is hurt. There's a lot of mobs on him. And he's just looking up these spy these oh, actually no he places a dirt block there. It's quite a bit of mobs above him. Uh creepers and such. Uh Lee helped murder skipper. So there are there's still some teams talking in the chat. Ethix taking out Boy Guy and then Nick taking out This was all at the corn and then Nick took out Ethix and then Candy King blew up. So from twenty seven players to nine and it's only the first night. Uh, Nick Master taking the corn here, and he uh, might have the easiest access to the feast in the morning, but there are a lot of mobs he has to deal with. I think that was just two arrows from skeletons. Where are these arrows coming from? Actually, I think they're below. It's actually a spider behind him, and he actually gets a hit off him, on him. Nick has to deal with these mobs, though, which is not good, but he's going to have uh, the feast available to him in the morning. Actually, Cool K is going to attack here, and Nick took some damage before. N cool K Nick's just standing there. I think he is uh, lagging out here. Yeah, he is lagging out. Cool K takes him out. Cool K really armored up right now. Cool K's looking very powerful this game, and he still has that team out there with him. So Cool K takes out the person who took over the feast. I wonder what happened to Nick's teammate. I think he must have died somehow. But uh, let's go check on Lehman, who was part of that team, I believe. Lehman and, uh, oh, getting uh, stuck here. Lehman and Stormy Knife are actually in this hole. I think they're trying to escape. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and leave this since they're just sitting here. Let's go check on Water again. Who was way out here? He actually has an iron helmet. Interesting. I wonder if he crafted that himself and actually got that iron. But he has an iron helmet, chain boots, and a stone sword. He is uh, nicely set up out in this far jungle, being gonna be able to get resources and stuff easily without uh, running into other players. He has water all around him. He's actually he seems to be leaving the island now, knocking that creeper away with the fishing rod. But let's go check on better. Better, well, better, Aaron and Rex actually on a team here, and they're making these signs. One says Cool K, one says Lehman. I think they're talking about the other team. I'm not sure if they're teamed with them, but they're in this little house here. Got this one Christmas chest that I can't open. But, uh, corn. that's not the corn, that's actually a boat, and it seems like someone towered up. No, that's just a ladder. I think that's, uh, implemented. But they're just sitting here. My hit list. Actually, this, they're making like a hit list, so. This is another team of three, which could be a threat. This game could go anyway with the people remaining, but let's go. Actually, better quit there. Hopefully, he'll get back into the game. Yeah, he does right there. Let's go check on Kai. I don't think we've checked on Kai yet. Kai is actually in his own little hole here with a furnace. He's actually cooking up uh, food, I assume, because there are cows and pigs around the map. And that's always good. He actually has bread on him also. He might actually be cooking up something else. You never know. I can't check, though, right now because of a glitch. But let's go check on Stormy and his team. Uh, Stormy's actually alone. Where is his team? He's actually running alone here. 
He only has a wood sword still in it. He has two arrows in him. So he's taking some skelly damage. He's just running. This would be a bad time for him to run into someone. He's actually running close to the corn. He's actually taking a lot of arrow hits here from these skellies. Actually, skellies have pretty bad aim right now. He's actually have to deal with this creeper. It's not going to do much, though, as he just runs past it. But he's running the cool K. I think the team didn't. Lehman was actually shot by a skeleton. I think that was right down here. Yeah, this was right here. I'm pretty sure. But there's actually a lot of damage going on up here. Stormy shot by a skeleton. So that's two of that team already taken out right there. Uh, the dangers, <laughs> Hungercraft at night. Cool K actually taking a lot of damage too, but he has that armor. I think uh, Cool K is the last one from that team remaining. Is there actually someone in the background here running to the corn? Maybe taking advantage of his low hearts? I'm not sure who is this. This is Watermelon King. Finally getting into action. He sees him. I'm not sure if he's going to be attacking him here. Yes, he's actually running in. I'm not sure if this is a offensive attack but he is running in and if he does attack him Kuke has an arm and he's been regenerating probably but he's still he's attacking the skeleton here he's observing his area I don't think they're teamed they're analyzing the area Kuke is looking up they are definitely not teamed watermelon's breaking the wood with an axe but Kuke goes up around the corner he has a bow and he misses one shot and watermelon retrieves that arrow actually watermelon using a fishing rod he loves his fishing rods uh, trying to knock him back. Kuki trying to break a block, and Water takes advantage of that. Gets one, two hits. Water has a big advantage. Now, Water may be able to take him out. He actually takes out a bow. I think he missed. He missed a second shot. He gets a third shot off, though. And they're having a bow fight, but one more bow shot. And he, Water takes him out. Nice play by Water. And he's going to be able to get all that armor, but he needs to cycle through all this stuff. And if someone takes advantage of him now, he may be done. But he is going to. He's going to cycle through all this stuff and grab what he has. So that big team has already all been taken out very quickly. And very strangely too, mostly by mobs and watermelon just cleaning it up. Watermelon actually using lava very smartly to take out this stuff here. Uh, he doesn't want anyone to be getting this stuff. He actually has lava on this map, which is interesting. Lava is very powerful, as you know, in Hunger Games. It does a lot of damage, and if you get stuck in it and don't have a way to save yourself, you are most likely dead. It is a very powerful weapon, but let's go check on some other people. Let's go check on Rex. So, this has come down to a 3 versus 1 versus 1. Actually, I only see better in here. And better in Rex, who's just leaving. Where is Aaron? Is Aaron down here? Yeah, Aaron's actually down here just mining away. Better's still in the house, and I think Rex left to, uh... The game's already... What? Rex left to, uh, go towards the corn. He actually left his team alone. Just uh, not always the best thing. You kind of want that team to be with you, but maybe he's just scouting out for his team. I'm not sure, but he has to deal with these mobs, and he doesn't have much armor. And if he turn and if he runs into watermelon, uh, it might be a good report for his team. But he might actually be taken out because watermelon has a really big advantage right now. He's actually getting chased by a lot of mobs here. Spider actually gets one hit, two hits off, and he's dead. I don't think they had any food. I do not see any food on the ground. He was dead in two hits. Wow, that leaves us with uh, four players left. A team of two, Kai and Watermelon King. A team of two is Aaron, better believe Aaron and better believe it. And then Watermelon's alone. Watermelon is doing very nicely this game. Uh, he's kind of set with all this armor. He takes an arrow there from the skelly, but it's not going to be much. And the feast is soon since it is morning. The first fe uh, feast is always the second morning, or the first morning since uh, Hunkercraft starts in the middle of the day. But he's going up to the top of this corn for some protection. Just going to sit here and chill, wait for that feast. Let's go check on Kai, who has been uh, the wild card this game, I want to say. Because, he, yeah, he's sh just sitting in this hole. He does have a leather tunic, which is something. But he is definitely the wild card this game. The mobs are burning up, and I think he notices that. So he, maybe it's time to leave. They say it's, uh, Better says it's almost day to Aaron. I think they're ready to leave. Better actually has uh, leather pants. They both have stone swords, obviously. But uh, <laughs> this is their... This is their hit list right here: Justin Bieber, Kai, and Watermelon King. So let's see how <laughs> let's see how this goes. This team of two may be very po very powerful, but I don't think they have any much food. I'm not sure why Rex left them. Maybe to hunt out food or something. Maybe he was desperate for food, but they lost their third member like that, and that might hurt him in the end. But still, there are no other teams in this game, and they are the only ones left. <laughs> Aaron actually throwing cobble one by one, but it still works. So, let's go check on Water again, see how he's doing at the corn. Sitting up here, actually cooking something. He actually has a leather tunic now. He's full ar fully armored up. I think that's, uh, like, almost the equivalent to full chain. I want to say it's the equivalent to full chain. I think it's very close to it, if it's not. 
but he is very well armored up here and full chain is basically full gold if you don't know that which is right in between iron and leather armor which is very good he is looking very no what's the word I'm looking for snazzy or something but uh, let's go head over to Aaron Aaron and better heading to the corner now, but they have armor disadvantages uh they actually pick up that loot on the ground there. It's not going to be, they're not, they might not be able to do much though, because water has a huge armor advantage, and if Aaron gets taken out first, or targeted by Watermelon, then that's just going to make his job easier, because Aaron does not have as much uh, armor as Better, but Better does have leather pants, uh, leather boots, and water actually drops lava, trying to drop it on them. It was close, but uh, uh, Aaron says, careful. He above lava. He says she says he above lava. And she's Aaron's trying to block the lava, but the lava is spreading all the way around. Water could take advantage of Aaron being distracted here. But Kai's actually running in. Kai running in. This is this is going to be the final fight here. Lava all over the corn. This is great. Kai running in to attack Aaron. Aaron actually falls in the hole and Kai follows. Kai taking out Aaron. And better notice that, I think, but better is just being safe standing here. Kai actually jumping out the backside of the ship, and I think he's actually making an escape here. He just went for a hit and run. He killed Aaron and got out of there. It's uh, better versus Watermelon. Better with the bottom advantage gets a hit off, but I think he took an air arrow from Watermelon. So I think Watermelon still has this advantage. There is a feast, though, so better might be able to get a water trying to drop lava on him again, but it's too slow. It's still uh, kind of closes the battlefield together but they are fighting now there's a creeper in the fight they both take damage i think from that and better and water drops lava but better barely dodges it watermelon taking some fall damage he takes out a bow they can't hit each other right there that was a strange little interaction but what is actually running here interestingly enough i think they took the same amount of hits he actually wants his lava back and he does grab it it runs around the corn runs around this gift better is this, they are very close corners now better actually falling down this hole water getting time to regenerate yeah, uh, Water says hitbox glitch there. Yeah, hitbox glitch is something that's happening lately. But he takes out a bow. Better takes out a bow. They are still fighting here. Where is Kai? Kai might be able to come in and finish this up. Kai is the wild card. You never know what may happen with Kai. But he actually drops lava and Better is inside of it. Better is probably going to die here if he gets caught in that l lava. He's definitely going to die here. There's no doubt about it. He actually fishing rods him into the lava and he burns to death. And Kai is actually coming in to clean up. Maybe you'll be able to clean up Watermelon. But this is the final fight. The wild card versus the man who basically took out that one team. But he tries to drop lava. It misses. Kai actually gets a hit off. They're trading hits, but Kai gets a big combo. I think they're about even right now on health. This can go either way. Kai is chasing. Watermelon is running. Watermelon with the bow out misses the shot. But Kai is trying to catch up to him as fast as he can. Oh my gosh, water going for that lava again. Taking out the bow once again. Gets a shot off there. K trying to strafe ar around it. He dodges a few shots, but he takes two. Wow. This is intense. I think they are about even, but Kai took a lot of arrow hits there. He's probably very low. Water is chasing. They are fighting. They're trading hits. And Watermelon takes out Kai, the one who basically cleaned up that team fight. GG, throwing out that GG. Water, the one who won, basically took out the one who had the most armor the entire game. Uh, the one who basically led that team. Coming out victorious. Kai almost making a comeback as the wild card. He basically hit in a hole the whole game, basically. Well, when I teleported to him. And it was a very good game, though. A lot of twists. Very fun. And uh, I'm going to end it here, guys. Later.